Well folks, again, it's James, the man in the red coat. And I've just come to the end of a wonderful uh, evening here at Draper's Hall. Now I've mentioned Draper's Hall before, but I'm out actually being allowed the run of the hall to show you why this place looks so, so special. So if you look down the end of the hall there, it really doesn't look like much. You just walked into a fairly low level area. But if we go down through here now, you'll see all of a sudden how it transforms and changes completely from this fairly standard type corridor right the way up into this wonderful building. As you step up these stairs, things begin to change. Up we go. Now that low level ceiling that we had before has grown up to a ceiling that's considerably higher, beautifully col with colonnades all around and a wonderfully great big mirror to stare at yourself in if you're tall enough like me. See, there I am. In here, we have on the right, we have the drawing room. Again, a beautiful room. Forget the lights, of which there are quite a few in here. But if you look up at the ceiling and the architecture there, it's really quite something to behold. Enormous, great, high windows. If we go back across here very quickly. If we turn left at the top of the stairs, we come into what is known as the court dining room. Quite dark in here now. We've had the lights turned down. But beautiful murals on the wall there, as you can see and a picture of Her Majesty the Queen above the fireplace, as rightly it should be. However, she's not the only royalty, and I'll show you some more. If we now run through, back across from the top of the stairs, from on the landing, we come into the courtroom. This is where court is held. Ceremonial courts are held by many different literary companies that come and use this premises for their own benefit. Here is the dinner that I was at this evening. It's the dinner of the New Fellows Dinner for the Royal Academy of Engineering, and if you look very, very closely, the gentleman who was sitting on table number seven, who I must say was an absolute delight. But moving into here, this is what is so amazing about this room. Look at the height of this room. Look at the pictures around the walls. Look up there. It's almost like you've walked into a cathedral, and there is absolutely no way that when you walked in initially, down that long corridor, with a fairly low ceiling, that you'd come into such a magnificent building with such an incredible high hall that is so beautiful to behold. So, why do I like Draper's Hall so much? Well, not only does it look magnificent, but I have to say the team that work here are great to work with too, and it's been a pleasure working here with them this evening once again. Um, but for me, Draper's Hall, it's time for me to go home. I've had a fantastic evening here, but I hope you now get to see some of the wonder and splendour that I have the privilege and luck to be able to work with him.